Vasu, the Director of Operations for NLM4, and today I'm going to talk about some of the precision engine balancing that we provide here at NLM4. Balancing is something that a lot of people overlook, and um, everyone thinks that Honda's tolerances are so perfect. It's Honda, it doesn't need to get balanced. And generally speaking, for just a street car, you know, it may not have to get balanced to as precise levels where we have it at. Um, but today I'm going to share with you um, some of the parts and the process in which we uh, go forward with balancing and uh, we'll start off with the crankshaft. This is a stroker crankshaft, a 95mm Brian Crower stroker crankshaft and um, it's brand new and you would think that it's near perfectly balanced and it almost is. Um, as you can see here on the counterweights, these holes that are existing were put there in the original balancing process uh, in the manufacturing process. Uh, we've gone one further step and have just taken a little bit of material off and you can see here where it's kind of shiny. That's our work. And once again you can see here there really isn't anything else. That's all this crankshaft needed to become within our standards or our specifications. And our specifications is within two tenths of a gram. Most places will balance down to a gram or half a gram, and that's, you know, that's, uh, to them that's more than enough, but for us, um, we like to take it um, as, far as, as, as far as we can go uh, to be as precise as possible, uh, because in racing, um, every second counts. You know, every gram that we save off the car, everything counts, everything adds up at the, at the very end. Um, so two tenths of a gram in either direction is a little ways to out scale. So this is our crankshaft. Moving on, we'll go over to the, the connecting rod. Um, what we do for connecting rods is we will weigh all the rods and find out which one is the lightest of the bunch. Once we find that out, we'll record that weight, put that rod off to the side, and we will then take each rod and get them to weigh within two tenths of a gram of that particular rod. In this uh, case here, you can see some material being taken off here, very lightly. This one's got some material taken off here around the edge there. You have to be very precise on where you move material from the rod because you want to be careful not to weaken its structure or anything like that. Um, that would be for any piece that you're balancing. Once again, you can see more material taken off here and there. Now the pistons go through the same procedure. Um, this set of pistons are CP, CP pistons, and I must say CP pistons are really precise when they come out. Um, for this particular set here, we only had to really take material off of one set, one piston, because everything was so precise to begin with. And I'll show you where. There's only one spot on the piston where you can actually just, uh, safely and move the material right there. Can you get that? Right in the corner, right in the bottom there, you'll see two divots that are made. Basically, that is uh, what was needed to get these to all the way within two tenths of a gram from, from each other. So the pistons are now balanced. We also balance them with the pins. Um, these are WPC treated pistons and pins. Um, we are constantly doing this treatment process now. You know, I'm getting a little off track with balancing, but um, I just want to demonstrate once again for those of you who did not see the video on WPC treatment. Look how fast that just goes through, no friction. I will be sending this crank and rods to get treated. And we just, uh, we're actually waiting on another few other shoulder kits to come back. So we're uh, actively balancing treatment. Balancing treatment, it's uh, almost like a, it's a weekly routine here now. Um, moving on, 
Uh, the clutch and flywheel is also very important to have balanced. Um, a Honda motor is called an internally balanced motor, so the rotating assembly along with the clutch and flywheel do not have to be balanced as one whole unit. Um, the pressure plate and the flywheel can be balanced separately from the rotating assembly. Um, it is crucial to have your crankshaft, pistons and rods, pins and everything balanced as one whole. And then you've got the pressure plate and the um, flywheel balance uh, as a second piece. Um, this is a single cam setup. I just wanted to kind of show you this because this is one that we have that's complete. Now these do come balanced from the factory, you know, from this is a competition clutch. Comp clutch does have this balance. Uh, I believe this was the original divot from their balancing, and we went ahead and added an extra one there. This little piece, uh, this little dowel has been painted blue and it's marked blue here and I'll show you for a reason why. On the pressure plate side of things, we went ahead and drilled out two holes here, or actually widened, and that's basically um, where material was removed in this case. Sometimes we have to add material, in this case it's been removed. And here is that um, blue paint again. The significance of that is to have them match up to be as they were on the machine and being weighed out and balanced. So everything's perfect. And basically that's how we do it here at LA4. It's either good right or don't do it at all. Um, Another thing I wanted to add is on the pulley, you can also balance your crankshaft pulley. I don't have one here to show with you today, but it's basically the same process. We'll either add weight or remove weight. And if you want to kind of visualize um, like a piece of string and you're, you're toying over your head, you can feel that, you know, weight on, on, each, on, on the end of the string. And basically to counterbalance that, if you add the same amount of weight on the exact opposite end, and it balances it out just like you're balancing the tire. Um, so that is basically clutch and flywheel. We've already went over this. And I think that's basically it. Um, I recommend doing balancing, even if it's just a standard street build. It doesn't have to be a 900 horsepower motor. It doesn't have to be you know, supercharged for suction only. It could be standard rearranging in the bearings. This is a standard procedure for a 94. Um, if you come in and you just want to stand a rebuild, this is a quality of work that you can get. If you are a race team and you want something that's uh, specific, this is the quality that you can get. Okay, there you have it. We have basically covered an entire um, balancing procedure for a bottom end uh, for your rotating assembly along with the clutch and flywheel. Um, once again, that's down to two tenths of a gram, extremely precise, um, ensures reliability, longevity, and more power. So for more information, you can contact us at www.mi4.com or you can give us a call, 714-903-1898 or you can simply send us an email, uh, info at mi4.com. Um, you can also visit us on our website under the media section. There is a uh, newsletter called The Final Lap, which I sometimes you know, um, contribute to. And the February 09 edition talks about precision engine balancing. Um, so hopefully I've been able to shed some light on this topic and thank you for giving me the time. Have a good night.